Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo. Welcome back today on this Sunday to another live episode of my Clash Royale series. Guys, I want to point out in today's video, I have taken a little bit of a break from Clash Royale. That is why I haven't been posting as many videos. I'm hoping to return. However, I'm favoring Clash Royale over Clash of Clans at this current time. You guys are still welcome to join the clans and hang out and play some games with me. But just a little break is needed. We did a total of 45 episodes. So that is a lot of episodes of Clash of Clans every single week. Nonetheless, let's get into this because the other day they introduced a new update. Now every single week in this series, I'm going to be testing decks that you guys give me. Two every single week. So I have two decks I will be testing throughout today's video. However, if you guys have any deck suggestions, whatever cards I get in today's videos and whatever cards I have here, remember to leave the decks on the cards I have because I don't have all these cards that you guys are talking about. So many cards that you guys are requesting that I don't have just yet. For example, the Skeleton Army. A lot of people posted decks with the Skeleton Army, which I don't have. So remember the decks I do have. And of course, I'll test them out every single week. So in last week's episode, I got myself a Witch and the deck I have here has been working so well. We didn't lose a battle last week and we gained a lot of trophies. So I'm currently in Arena 4. Arena 4, Arena 5 are probably the most difficult arenas to get out of. Arena 6 to 7, they're not too bad. They go up and down a little bit, but 4 and 5 to me is where most players are at in this game. So let's check out what they did introduce. Of course, they introduced um, the new content. They introduced a new common card, the Fire Spirits. New rare card, the Furnace. New epic cards. Uh, guards, new legendary cards, Lava Hound, Miner, and Sparky. Now, the only cards I have on my main account are the Fire Spirit. They're okay at higher levels. I have the Furnace, but I don't have the Guards, Lava Hound, the Miner, or Sparky. Does anyone have them? Let me know what they are like. And of course, they've made a lot of changes as well. Um, and finally, finally, when you have full chests, you actually earn gold from playing. So let's open the things that we do have available. So let's open this. Hopefully, we come across some of the new cards today. I'll be very happy with that. Uh, no, we're well, clearly not. More furnaces. I mean, no, more infernos. More coins. More bombers, which is good. I like the bomber. Fireball, because some of you guys have suggested decks with the fireball. Let's open this as well. Nothing. Okay. More of them. Wow, so many inferno tiles. I'm also going to spend five gems for you until we get. Means that I can have three more spaces for opening things. It's going to disconnect me. I'll be right back. Not entirely sure what I got in that deck because it did disconnect me, unfortunately. Uh, actually. No, it didn't. Let's open this one. Okay, we're good. Okay. Goblins and more fireballs. And we can actually start to open this one as well. So, what they've done in the update is that crown chests now have doubled in loot. Because to be honest, getting a, getting a crown chest is quite difficult. So, you earn better cards, more money, etc. And also, they've made some changes to the store as well. So, let's buy a bunch of these, alright? Because I wouldn't mind having a bunch of these. Alright, it's not, it's not... It's not a bad thing. I've got six. Can I buy six? Eh, no, I want to save this because I'm going to be doing some upgrading of some cards that you guys have suggested deck wise. I'm going to request what cards do I think I need? I'm going to keep requesting the minion horde because the minion horde for me, it's good at higher levels. So I'm going to keep requesting the, the minion horde. We're going to earn ourselves as many chests as I can. Last episode, I spent a lot of my gems on some chests. We're not going to do that today, all right? I'm not going to do that. Not today because. Well, we wasted a lot and we did get some good cards. Not the greatest of cards, but we did get some decent ones. So, the first deck I'm going to be testing this week is going to be from Dr. Faggot. <laughs> he said, one, giant, witch, goblin, goblin barrel, bomber, barbarians, arrows, goblin hut, and cannon. Okay, so let's test this one. So, let me do this in the order that he's chosen. So, he said giant, he said a witch, he said a goblin barrel, which I've not used. So, let me upgrade this, actually. Goblin barrel. A lot of people use these. I'm not really the biggest fan of it, but apparently it's good. I'm going to use my bomber. Um, barbarians. I'm going to move these real quick with this. So let's go. Um, where are they? Barbarians. Um, arrows. You guys want me to use arrows. So let's use the arrows. Then we've got goblin hut. Okay, then. Do you mean, yes. Goblin hut. And last but not least, the cannon. And I'm using the cannon for distractions, no doubt. So let's upgrade this a little bit because I've not really been, I've not used this at all. A lot of people use the cannon as a distraction type of thing. And we'll upgrade, I'm a, wow, it's very expensive. Sure, one, we can do this all the time. Okay, there we go. So this is a deck cost of 4.1. I use a 4.1 on my main deck. And we're going to test this as well. So there's only slight changes compared to my main deck there. I think the only card difference there is going to be the barrel hut and the cannon instead of this. Wait, well, yeah, yeah. 
Kind of, yes. I, I mean, instead of the uh, this. What else has changed from this deck? There's something. Oh yeah, there's some. I don't know what's changed. Something slightly has changed. Anyway, we're gonna test this deck as well. So the second deck I'm gonna be testing in today's video was left by uh, Rania, who said this deck has really helped me in Arena Four and Five. He said Bob Hot. So we're gonna go down Bob Hot. Where is my Bob Hot? He said Goblin Hot. Now I know what deck he's talking about. It's where you overrun the the, the other users with um, like a lot of cards on the table at one time. So let's use this. Um, a prince. Ooh, okay then. We do have a prince. Yes, we do. Prince. Spear goblins, which I'm just going to quickly switch with this. I want to keep these in a specific order. Spear goblins. Goblin barrel. Let's go with this. Where is the goblin barrel? Is it in my deck? It's not in my deck. What have I done with it? There he is. Okay. And then he said arrows and minion hordes. So arrows. And of course, last but not least, minion horde. A deck cost of 4.5. Pretty expensive. But we will give it a little bit of a go. We'll see how we get on. So, first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to start off with my normal deck. This is the deck I've been using for a long time. Um, sorry, as of last week. Because the Witch supporting the Giant is a very, very good strategy. Now, I'm going to the high level people now. So, I've got to be really careful, alright? I've got to be really careful in these battles. I'm just going to place this just in front of my, my tower. Because this means... Here we go. Let's get the view. Let's bring that down straight away. There we go. That's done. That is out the way. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Alright. So I've kind of come to a key strategy. If you can keep at least five elixir on the table, you're going to do very well. Now I'm going to be smart here and I'm just going to place down... In fact, I'm just going to I'm just gonna let my tower get rid of this. And I'm going to place down this. And then hopefully by the time... Oh dear, he's gone with this. Okay, now I'm just going to have to... Oh, here we go. I placed the wrong cards down. No! No! I placed the wrong card down the wrong place. However, he was not focused on his side, so we should take this if we're lucky here. We're going to take this. There we go. And I'm going to be smart here, and I'm going to bring down this. And I'm going to put down this over here. So this deck does very well, guys. It's it's awesome. He's going with a hog rider. That's fine by me. He's focused on my tower. He's focused more on my tower than defending himself. And as you guys can see, instantly, we took three crowns. Perfect start, if you ask me. You cannot get better than this. Perfect, perfect start. I'm sorry, dude, but you didn't defend. I've also got a golden chest and three more, which now I means I've got a crown chest. Let's just say hello to her, people. Hey. Oops. Thanks. Oops. I can't can't type. Thanks. I'm also going to watch some of the clan wars as well today. Some of the, some of the, sorry, not clan wars. Some of the clan battles of what people have been doing. I'm going to donate a couple of these. Okay, who's left the clan? Someone's left. Oops. He left by mistake. All right, let's go anyway. Okay, uh, okay, attack. We've got ourselves more rewards. Only three. I'll take them. Any more of the achievements? I'm close to level six as well, and I'm gonna I'm gonna open this. Let's see what we end up with. A couple of gems, more minion hordes. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. All cannons. Okay. We've got ourselves barbarian heart, and I've got myself another giant skeleton. Okay then. So how much does it cost to upgrade this? I'm gonna do this, guys. All right, it's it's worth it. Keeping these at a high level is good. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna test the next deck now. So let's go with this one. It's very slightly from my one. However, it still supports the giant and the witch, which is a good strategy, nonetheless. And I'm gonna do the same strategy again. Put this down here. The only problem is it's a very. Ex the next deck I do is gonna be very expensive. I'm gonna let him. I'm let my my tower take them out. We should be okay to take them out on our own. Um, barbarians. Okay, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and put this here. There's only three elixir. Three elixirs. It's pretty cheap. It's more of a distraction type of thing. And we're gonna get rid of this as well. That's awesome. I'm gonna throw this over this side. And that's, that's not bad. So you can bring that down very, very slowly. And I'm going to put a witch on this side as well, along with the bomber. The bomber is very good for um, the barbarians. However, the Valkyrie can be a little bit of a pain to bring down. She's very strong. And I'm also going to put a giant in front of this as well. So he needs some form of a minion horde here. If he's got a minion horde, hopefully I can clear it out before he takes out my giant. This guy's probably not expecting me to have... Oh dear. No, it's gonna disconnect! No, again! This happened last time, and it disconnect me from the game. Always happens on this device, and I don't know why. Oh 
Okay, we still took it though, somehow. Okay, I'm back in. Let's distract him from my, uh... Oh! And let's throw this over this side. So he's gonna be focused on my barbs now, I can already tell. As you guys can see, so now he's got... Ah! See, they're not high enough level, I don't think. I've gotta be really careful with the disconnection errors. It happens quite a lot on this device, and I do not know why. Let's put you down there. And then, let's put a witch down. And of course, a cannon as well. And I'm gonna bring down this um, giant with the, the Goblin Barrow. I'll happily just take a one victory here. But I'm saying that guy, that I can push this right now, we might go down very well. Actually, what we go here? Put this down. And last but not least, I'm gonna put the bomber down. And I think this is game over. The dude's not gonna get me. He's he's not got enough power behind him, and I've got two witches down. It's gonna do it again. No, why? Why do you hate me? Why does this keep happening to me? I'm not gonna lose though. I'm pretty convinced in 13 seconds he's not gonna take this. Okay, that was lucky. Oh. Let's hope that this doesn't happen again. It doesn't It doesn't normally happen when I record, but for some reason today, when I'm recording, the game absolutely hates me. All right, just to be a little bit smart, I've restarted my device in hopes that it doesn't disconnect me in any more games. That was very lucky that I took the victory there. I'm lucky that I could get back online as quick as I could. So, let me just say, first deck. The first deck was suggested by a Dr. Faggot. Worked perfectly, thank you very much. I'm gonna try a 4.5 cost deck. I'm very, I'm very optimistic at the moment. Let's just hope that we can do well here. Let's see how this gets on. Because it's always fun to test you guys' decks and see what you guys are actually playing with and see what people in the community are using. So I know barbarians with goblins can be a very overpowerful structure. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how this works. I know how this, this deck works because I've done it before and I've used it before myself. Um, and it goes down with this as well. So this guy, by the looks of things, he looks like he's got a cheap deck, and he's also got the new furnace. These produce the, uh, the fire spirits. And then with this, I'm gonna throw down... Oh, he's got two of them, damn. He must have a mirror card. I'm gonna be throw this down, and I'm also gonna throw this down as well. So you guys will be able to see that it's like an overpowering deck. It kind of... It just forces you on top of the opponent, because there's constant cards coming from everywhere, pretty much. And then I'm gonna be smart, and I'm gonna throw down this on top, and hope that he doesn't have like uh, any type of arrows. Oh damn! They are oh wow! They actually do. They do damage to flying. I didn't know that. I didn't know the furnace ones do damage to the uh, the other ones. Actually, this is not a bad. They're not bad. They're actually okay. They're actually not that bad. I'm gonna throw these over here. I mean, they do a lot of damage in, in groups. In all fairness, they definitely do. In fairness, fairness, see what I said there. This deck is going to be a little bit difficult, probably against this deck. I'm just going to try and force myself onto this side. And I think I'm going to take this. Barbarians, uh, when they get a hold of your tower, they take it down pretty fast. Um, I'm gonna have to be smart though and try and get rid of these little fire guys. Because they are actually good in, 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 a, in abundance together. They're, they're strong. Like, very, very strong. Which I never really expected. And he does have a balloon. So let me just be smart here and bring this down as much well as I can. Okay, that was lucky. Very, very lucky. It's got a mirror card, you see. There we go, it's down. We're going strong. I don't think he's gonna do this. This deck does work. 
But this was a very, very hard person to play, especially with those furnaces. So it's safe to say, it's safe to say that I've won. I would have talked all two. I would have talked two of them there. Yeah, it was close. It's safe to say all three decks I've tried today, or including mine, has worked, which is good. I'm happy about that. I'm pretty happy that that deck was good, but the person had a deck I never really ever seen before. I've never really seen a deck like that. I've not really seen any good decks with the new cards either. And I've yet to see someone with a Lava Hound as well. So who's in chat today? Uno is playing her. She is a bunch of people playing other people. Um, some people are watching some of the, the, the Clash TV. Okay. I was going to watch some, but I'm going to pass for now. Because they haven't really shared too many exciting things. Let's go to... I'm going to continue with my deck for now. In fact... I am going to open this in hopes that we... Oh, that was some good cards. What did I end up with then? End up with some minions. And I've also got another one of these. Okay, then. Good. So let's begin to start opening this. I'm going to do one more battle. Hope that we win. Hopefully we can end on a high note. And then I'm going to leave you guys to leave some comments down below on other decks we can try. So this is the original deck I've been using for a long time. And what I've noticed, right, if you can put down a giant and the minion hold over it, and the enemy doesn't quite have um, anything to bring this down. It will go down very well. So if he's got arrows, I'm in trouble. If he doesn't, we'll be okay. And he's got not arrows, but he does in fact have a fireball. So it didn't go down very well there. Let's put you down. Just trying to spend as much as less elixir as I can. And they're brought down as well. Okay. All right, that didn't work, so he's got a fireball. So the minion horde in this game, not so good. So the, the minion horde can be a hit and miss card, and the bomber tower has been reduced in this update, so I don't know how to deal with this guy for now. I'm just gonna play with, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna just let my elixir build up, let his bomber tower reduce. Then I'm gonna place down my giant along with my witch. I hope that that works. Oh, he's got a, he's got a lightning spell. He's got a lightning spell. Okay then. This guy's got a very, he's got a little bit of a difficult deck actually. A deck I've not really seen that often. I'm gonna put you down, and then I'm gonna put down a bomber here to clear out them. That's a bit of a problem we're gonna have in this game. That's free. My giant's free. That is good. My giant's free to roam, but he does have the skeletons. This won't go down very well with me. Still a very even game. I still don't know who's going to win this. I mean... This is very close. Very close. And he's got a bomber tower down. Okay. Okay, it's going right all the way, this one. It's going all the way. Gonna put down his yes, I knew he was gonna do that. Go on, little barbarians. Battle's gonna end very soon. Uh, it looks like we're gonna end up with a draw here. Oh wait, this is overtime. Okay then. So it was a draw, now we're in overtime. Ah, see, I did this last time. Just simple mistakes like that are, are really costly. Trying really hard to bring that down with them. Ah, and he won with a zap or whatever it was. It's a boring way to win. I hate when people win like that, but that's just the way this game went. Oh well. Right, I'm gonna go one more. I believe one more game because I just want to get another crown. That's, that's what I'm going for. One more crown. Let's put you down there again. Good luck, my friend. Let's see how we get on here. And he 
He's put down a Hog Rider. And he's got a free spell. Uh-oh. It's the last thing I want to deal with in today's video. Hog ah, he's got arrows. This is going to be a little bit of a difficult game, this one. Let's hope that we don't end with two back-to-back -back losses. I'll take a draw. If not, we're going to be in a little bit of spot of trouble. Right, let's put you down. Let me make him force the uh, defense for now. I don't know what I can do against this deck, because he's got Freeze as well. Just gotta hope that we can defend enough. And that's what I was afraid of. However, smart move here by me, because he's used... He's used his, um... His arrows. But that doesn't matter. It didn't make much difference. I'm gonna lose. And that's the loss right there. got a very counteractive deck against me and there's nothing I can do against it and it's a giant pain and it sucks real bad that I'm gonna lose this way and I'm gonna end on two losses. Unfortunate though, I mean the higher you get guys they put you against people who are also winning as well. Disappointing, I thought they scratched him as well. Anyway guys, I'm hoping you have enjoyed another episode of my Clash Royale series. It's a fun game if you guys have yet to play it. Jump on, it's really fun. Guys, it's a really fun game. I'm on 1,268 today. Not too bad. Guys, take care, stay beautiful, have a great weekend, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!